a lot of people in the world right now, you are stuck in your house due to isolation, due to quarantine, or maybe isolation's finished and you're just wanting to learn a skill in the confines of your house. So in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 skills that you can learn in your house and I'm gonna make them in increasing difficulty. So the first skill is nice and easy, a fun one to learn, and all you need is a cup and a table. You might have heard this song from Pitch Perfect with Anna Kendrick. This was actually a song that existed on YouTube back in the day where people played a song on the cup. I should probably look up how it goes on YouTube before I attempt to sing it really poorly. I got a ticket for the long way round Two bottles of whiskey for the way And I sure would like some sweet company I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? Really, it's something that if you want to knock it out in an hour or so It's a pretty fun thing, you can sing along to it It's a catchy tune Alright, on to skill number two This is one of my favourite skills of the ten And it's pen spinning so I learned this in high school from a French exchange student called Amory actually. Shout out to Amory. And why I love it is it's something to like fidget. If you're like me and you're on Zoom meetings and things like that, you're on calls and you just want something to kind of keep you active and not wandering off. I just love to spin a pen. So let me go through it in slow motion. So basically it's starting in between these two fingers here and it's spinning like this, touched in between these fingers, it spins like this, it catches here, and then I, from that position, I then spin it back to the starting position. One, two, and then it spins through and it comes back. So it looks like that. Whoa. What you're doing, and so the way to learn this is to start in between these two fingers, and you're moving it, you're moving this middle finger towards you. And as you're bringing the middle finger towards you, it's creating a rotation. This finger comes in, collects it, and then it spins through kind of like that. So really slowly, it's just this middle finger is coming down and the pointer finger is collecting it. And you can use your thumb to kind of just practice. Um, and when you do it really fast, you can kind of get a spinning effect on it. Okay, that is skill number two. Skill number three is juggling. Fans of the channel might know that I did a five juggling challenge. I had a lot of fun doing the five balls. It was super difficult, but three is really not that difficult. It, it's something that I've taught friends that have never had any juggling experience, that don't have the greatest coordination. They picked it up in about a day or about two to four hours of practice. So what I'd recommend is firstly, just practicing the motion of one to the other. Once you're feeling really confident and consistent in your throws, and you can start to catch the ball without even following the ball like this. You can just look at your peripheral vision, catch it, then go to two balls and start to go one, two, one, two, and then go the other way, left, right, left, right. Next progression is throw an imaginary ball. So go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then do the, the other thing, one, two, three, an imaginary ball with the left hand. Cool. And then you're just trying to go for one full rotation. So you just want to go one, two, three. And then start with the other hand. One, two, three. And then you basically got juggling with three down pat. And then you can learn some tricks. And then you can juggle with three. Alright, so that is skill number three. Number four involves this paper, and it is origami. So I haven't actually done a lot of origami for many, many years, but it's something that I really enjoyed back in the day. And although it's not necessarily difficult, if you try to keep getting better and better at it, there's some amazing things that you can start to create with origami. It's a lot of fun and it creates a lot of patience. Uh, it's artistic. Oh, this is an ugly bird, but it does the job. So this fifth skill goes all the way back to my second ever monthly challenge. If you know it, I'm very impressed. It is drawing. There's about 
two and a half years ago, I tried to draw a self-portrait and this is the best drawing that I could do. Not terrible, but clearly didn't really know what I was doing when I was drawing. And then simply by just doing one online course and practicing for the month, this was my end drawing of myself. It's something that you do need a little bit of equipment to get something like this. You will need some dark pencils, some lighter pencils, and to kind of gray. You might need some brushes to shade properly. You might need a really good eraser. For me, I had a white pencil as well, so I did have some good equipment. But you can just start with simply just one pencil, and I'll link you the course that I use to get that result. It's a great course. I'm sure that there's a lot of amazing courses out there if you want to do realistic portraits or whatever you're looking to do but drawing something really fun. It's a nice creative outlet. It's something that you can get into flow for four, six hours while you're drawing something and really working on something that you're excited to create. So this is a skill that I worked on a little bit more recently than some of the other ones. And it's actually a skill that I find quite challenging because I don't have great mobility through my shoulders, but I did manage to get some success. And this is hand stats. So great one to practice at home. You can start building out your flexibility, you can build your strength, and you can get more and more comfortable upside down. So, a couple of quick drills if you wanted to give it a go. You can practice walking up the wall. Look at the feet. And holding your hands down. And really pushing through your arms, pushing through your shoulders, spreading your fingers. When you're getting 30, 45, 60 second holds, you can start the other way. It's always scared me. So you can practice holding this one, and then when you get more comfortable, you can try to push up the wall and hold it for a little second at a time. Oh. Oh. And eventually, maybe you're gonna get a hamster. So one of my challenges earlier was to learn how to memorize an 80-digit random number in only 15 minutes. And I managed to do it in, I think, closer to 12 minutes. And then I also wanted to memorize 60 random faces and their name in 20 minutes. So these are kind of random, but I feel like they're actually very useful skills. If you're at university, if you're at school, you can memorize information with these techniques. For me, I memorized my business credit card, my personal credit card. You know, if you want to remember, you know, your anniversary date, your friend's birthdays, your friend's mobile phone numbers, you can put these all into memory palaces and have that information locked away forever. I really think like this is an undervalued skill and something that I would really recommend. It's quite satisfying to learn and it's really not that hard. I think you can get pretty confident in maybe 10 to 15 hours and start memorizing an 80 digit number in 15 minutes, just with 10 to 15 hours of practice. Skill number eight is meditation. So if you're like me, you might have always had a racing mind throughout your life. You might find it hard to fall asleep sometimes because there's so much going on in your mind. You might find that you're getting anxious at times. You might find that you're always fantasizing about different things. And you might find it hard to stay present or focused at times in your life. I think a lot of people feel that. And meditation is one of those tricky skills to pick up because it's not like gym where you keep lifting more and more weight. Your mind's getting trained, but it's very subtle, the changes. But for me, I've definitely found a profound impact on my life the more I meditate. And so I try to incorporate 15 minutes every morning. My current process is I use an app called Brain FM, and it plays music with a binaural beat. So it's something to help you to get in a meditative state. We can have a listen for one second. For me, I'll focus on my breath. I breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. I might check in on my body and see how my head, my shoulders, my back, my arms are all feeling. I might be conscious of the surroundings, but then eventually I just want to get focused on my breath. And as my mind wanders off, which inevitably is going to happen, then I'll try to catch myself and come back to my breath. And if I'm finding it really hard, then I might start counting my breath cycles up to 10 and then starting again going back to one to 10, one through 10, and trying to just stay focused. And a lot of really valuable ideas also flow to me in this time, but I try to release those ideas and just go back to the breath, because if they are important ideas, just by having them in your consciousness during those times, 
I think that you will be able to connect to those times later. So it's not necessarily a difficult skill, but it is a massively difficult skill to master and to practice consistently. So skill number nine is instrument. So if you've always fantasized about playing an instrument, to have a creative output, to have something to relax to, I highly, highly recommend it. I loved playing piano and guitar. My little tips to get started would be make sure that you learn fundamentals. So make sure you learn if you're learning piano. Learn how to kind of keep your hands on the piano. What's going to protect your arm so that you're not going to get strained. So how to warm up. And then I'd recommend going into just a fun song that you're going to enjoy, enjoy learning how to play. So something fun that I learned when I was starting out was this one. I think with guitar learning chords is a really good way to get started. Learning how to press down on the frets, learning how to strum, um, making sure you're getting those fundamentals consistent, and then just pick a song and start working towards it. So my final skill to learn while you're stuck at home, while you're isolating, it's something that I'm sure a lot of people around the world are doing given they have this extra free time, is learning a second language. And so this is something that I've tried to do on my channel where I tried to learn Spanish in only a month and it was incredibly difficult in terms of the amount of time that it takes. But surprisingly, once you get the right techniques, you can progress so much faster than I realized. So the biggest tip that I recommend, and I do have a couple of videos on this, is you know, avoiding using an app like Duolingo, which is fun and you know, it gives you a sense of progression, but I really don't think it's going to help you learn the language, from my experiences at least. And I use an audiobook, so there's, I use Michelle Thomas, but I know that there's some other ones like Pimsleur as well. The audiobooks where you hear something and then you translate it in your brain and then you say it out loud, it was so effective for me. So if you are learning another language or if that's something that you're excited about, I highly recommend you check out the audiobook way of learning. It just was so much more effective for me. And then there's heaps of good sites as well where you can practice conversation. So use the audiobook to get some of the basics down, use the sites to practice conversation, and then use an app like Anki, A-N-K-I, to practice the memorization of the words. Using those three techniques is gonna be a lot more efficient and it's gonna get you to a base level of competency where you can start to enjoy the language and it's gonna progress faster. So that is my 10 skills to learn while stuck at home, while isolating. I would love for you to let me know how many of these 10 skills can you do? And what are some of the skills that you're learning at home as well? What have I missed? What are you up to right now? I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching and happy learning.